Hello and welcome to another update video about AVAX. So AVAX has reacted successfully to our long-term support area on this long-term chart. We don't talk about it very often here in on YouTube, but we, uh, well, I'm sharing it with our members on Discord. If you're interested to get access to all these long-term charts as well for different coins, which I think are more important now than ever as we are navigating these final stages of a bull market and we could be in the early stages of an altcoin rally. Uh, which might take a few weeks, maybe a couple of months or so, uh, then feel free to check out our membership. You'll find the links in the description. Um, silver and gold give you access to these charts. And uh, yeah, you might want to check it out. But um, in this video, we want to take a look at the um, chart overall. And there are a couple of scenarios I'm tracking here. In both, I've been watching for a reaction to the support area and the communication was we are bullish. Uh, as long as we're holding $13.28. The main question on this chart though is whether we are rallying in wave C of a wave two corrective rally and we break down to new all-time lows in the next bear market. Or if uh, AVAX has a chance, and there's always a chance, to form a proper five wave rally from the um, 2023 lows, okay? And um, the difference is pretty much gonna happen. I mean, we, we won't be able to distinguish between them until we get into this area here. So the problem with this chart is overall that it's it, it has, to, in the best case, it's an ABC structure because the initial rally is clearly a three wave move. Then we have an A wave down, overshooting B wave, C wave down in the white scenario, which marked a B wave low. That's the bullish count. ABC down into the 2023 uh, cyclical bear market low. Five wave move up potentially in wave one. Wave two pullback, this could be a third wave rally. Should get to, and let me just double check that. Yeah, should get to, depending on how I count it, but at least $200 in the white count. Now, I'm not telling you it will get there, but it will depend on what's happening up here. So if we don't even get to $200, I'm not checking for a wave four and a wave five. This is the important difference, right? So I will start to get extremely cautious once we get into this blue area because the 100% extension at $103 is the first ideal target for the yellow C wave, which is the bearish count, because as you can see, we have a five wave move down and you can interpret this in different ways here, but I could say we have a wave one down, right? And this is an A, B, C to the upside that's forming. And this would be a wave two. It would be very high for a wave two. So again, you know, we have to be vigilant here along the way because a wave two would normally not break above the 78.6 retracement. So we, you know, we have to be very mindful. And again, depending on how I'm drawing this, 78.6 retracement is up there around $94. So this is gonna be the first, I mean, it's not the first resistance, there is more resistance along the way, but as you can see, there is some Fibonacci confluence around that, let's say 94 to $103 range. So this would be my initial target range for wave C. Um, looking at the smaller degree, I mean, I don't really have a clear micro count because this is all corrective from the low, but we might be dealing there with some kind of a diagonal pattern in wave C. Remember, C waves are five wave patterns and it's very much possible that this was a wave one, this was a wave two, and we're doing this now possibly as a diagonal, but there are many other ways how this can be interpreted or counted. So I'm just leaving it here as an idea. Um, but that should give you a good idea. And it also tells you that the November low must hold to keep this short-term uptrend alive. That's the update about AVEX. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.